Hi, welcome to another video. So, we've all been there. You're trying to get some deep work done. For me, that's usually coding or researching a new video topic. And suddenly, you look up and you have 50 tabs open. You have GitHub in one window, documentation in another, Slack pinging you, and ChatGPT running in the background. Your computer is slowing down, and you can't find that one tab you need. It's honestly a mess. We've seen a lot of AI browsers pop up recently, but usually they just slap a chatbot sidebar onto Chrome and call it a day. It adds more noise when we actually want less. However, today I have something that actually rethinks how a browser should work from the ground up. It's called Norton Neo. Now, to be clear, this isn't just a developer browser. It's an AI-native browser built for anyone who wants to get things done. But because I do a lot of coding and tech research, I found it solves some specific headaches that Chrome just can't handle. It aims to give you a calm browsing experience. It summarizes things before you click, organizes your chaos automatically, and keeps your data private, which, since it's backed by Norton, is a huge plus. Let me show you how I'm using it. To start, once you get Neo installed, currently available for Windows and Mac Early Access, you'll see this clean interface. The first thing you'll notice is the input bar. They call this the magic box. In a normal browser, you just type a URL. But here, Neo detects your intent. Let's say I'm starting a new project and I'm trying to pick a database. Instead of opening Google, then Reddit, then a bunch of blogs, I'm just going to type right here. Compare Supabase versus Firebase for a React Native app with offline support. Neo recognizes I'm asking for a comparison, not just a search result. It doesn't just give me a list of blue links. It spins up a comparison table right there in the interface. It breaks down the pricing and the features without me ever leaving the start page. Now, this is where the workflow gets really fast. Neo gave me a list of sources, including some GitHub repositories. Usually, I would have to click every single link, wait for it to load, see if it's what I need, and then click back. But with Neo, we have a feature called Peek and Summarize. Watch this. I'm just going to hover my mouse over this link. I don't click. I just hover. Immediately, Neo gives me a floating preview of the page. But even better, it gives me an AI summary right there. I can see what the library does and if it's maintained without opening a new tab. This feature isn't just for code. Imagine doing this for news articles or shopping. You can see what's on the page before you commit to clicking it. It saves so much mental energy. So, I've found the tech I want, and I've opened up the documentation tabs. But I've also got my email open, and maybe I'm looking at a YouTube video. In Chrome, this is where I lose track of everything. But Neo has smart tab grouping. It automatically recognizes that these specific pages are related to my React Native project. It groups them together. If I need to take a break and answer some emails, I can just click my Mail group, and all the coding stuff tucks away. It keeps your workspace incredibly tidy. It's not just about code. If you were planning a trip, it would group your flights and hotels together. It just keeps your brain focused on one task at a time. Now, I'm on a really dense documentation page. I can open the AI side panel. Because Neo is context aware, it knows I'm looking at this specific page. I can highlight a complex JSON response in the docs and ask Neo, generate a TypeScript interface for this. It reads the context and generates the code right there. But again, this works for anything. If you're reading a long news article, you can ask it to summarize the key points, and it reads the page with you. You don't have to copy-paste into a separate AI tool. Okay, 
So I've done the work, and now I need to write an update to my team or write a description for a pull request. I open the text box. When I start typing, Neo's typing assistant kicks in. I can type something lazy like, fix the auth bug. I hit the little wand icon, and Neo helps me draft a professional update. Fix the authentication session timeout issue. Ready for review. It works in GitHub, Jira, Slack, emails. Basically anywhere you type on the web, it helps you sound a little bit smarter. Now, usually, I am pretty paranoid about AI tools learning from my data. With Neo, they have a feature called configurable memory, and it puts you in control. I can explicitly tell Neo what to remember about my preferences. I can say in the chat, Remember that I prefer TypeScript over JavaScript, and I use Tailwind CSS. Neo confirms it saved that memory. Now, it personalizes my future answers. But here is the cool part. If you go to Settings and Memories, you can actually see a list of everything Neo knows about you. And you can delete it. Because this is backed by Norton, privacy is the main pillar. They tell you exactly when data is going to the cloud and when it's staying local. It's transparent, which is a breath of fresh air compared to other AI tools. One last thing to show you is the Neo feed. When you open a new tab, instead of random distraction, Neo builds a private, curated feed based on what you're actually working on. Since I've been researching mobile dev, it might show me a new update from the Expo blog or a relevant tech article. It keeps you informed on things you actually care about without breaking your flow. It looks pretty awesome. I would say that moving to an AI native browser like Neo feels a lot less like surfing the web and more like having the web come to you. Whether you are coding, writing, or just doing deep research, the fact that I can hover over links to peek at them and have the browser organize my tabs for me makes the whole experience feel much calmer. I highly recommend you go ahead and give this a try. It's free to download, and if you're on Windows or Mac, you can get early access right now through the link in the description. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.